Welcome back, everyone. So today we're going to talk about different types of data. When doing a study, it's important to know what kind of data you're dealing with. The nature of data you're working with will determine which statistical procedures can be used. In this section, you're going to learn how to classify data by type. So in our class, we're going to use two types of data, qualitative data and quantitative data. We also have textual data that we're going to learn later. For quantitative data, it consists of attributes, labels, or non-numerical entries. For quantitative data, it consists of numerical measurements or counts. For example, hair color is an example of attribute, so it is a qualitative or categorical data. Another popular example is blood time, which is basically categorical or qualitative data. Example of quantitative or numerical data is housing prices or salary. Here you have a list of data, which is retail prices of several Honda vehicles and their suggested retail price along with the model. Basically, we are introducing two types of data. The model on the left-hand side is an example of categorical data or qualitative data. And the retail price is an example of numerical or quantitative data. So here you have quantities. Basically, you can take these numbers, add them together, or you can find the average so you can do algebra or statistical analysis on the data on the right-hand side. Our goal is to graph these data. We're going to use Matplotlib to graph a bar chart. As you remember, Matplotlib is library of data visualization with Python. It helps to graph 2Ds and 3Ds easily in Python. I encourage you to take a look at Matplotlib web page. So take a look at it together. Let me go to the page. Find Matplotlib. Here we go. So on the page, you can find different um, types of information. For example, how to install them. plot types, the examples, documentation. So if you go to plot types, you can see you have a bunch of different types of plot. You have bar, you have a scatter plot in 2D, and then you can also create 3D or three-dimensional graphs. How to plot a surface, scatter plot in 3D, and so on. You can also download all examples in Python and have fun with it. In the first step, you're going to install Matplotlib. So you either use conda install Matplotlib or pip install Matplotlib. Now let us go back to our example and try our best to graph this bar chart. But what is a bar chart? What's a bar graph? A bar chart or bar graph represents each category as a bar. It has a height. Each bar heights show the category counts or percent. Bar graphs are easier to make the, than pie charts because it's easier to read. Let's go back to our example, the model and suggested retail price. First, import matplotlib.com. Pyplot as PLT, define some variables. We need the car model names, models, which is a list, including some strings. So that's why we use single quotes, or you can also use double quotes to list these all. Also, suggested retail prices. The list including numbers. Now, we're going to try our best to graph this. Lines of code that we need are 
PLT, that figure, fixed size, 10 and 6. What's the meaning of that? PLT figure, fixed size, 10 and 6. This line creates a new figure with a specified size 10 inches in width and 6 inches in height. The second line of code, PLT.bar models, prizes, and we're going to assign a nice color like sky blue. Later, I'll show you how to change these colors. PLT.bar models, comma, prizes, color is sky blue. This line creates a bar chart using the specified car model names, models as X axis and the corresponding prizes as the Y axis. These bars are colored in sky blue. And then let us label X axis and Y axis. PLT.X label car models and PLT.Y label suggested retail prices. So PLT.X label, which has the string car models, sets the label for the X axis. And also PLT.Y label suggested retail price in dollars sets the label for the Y axis. You can also assign a title to it. Why not? PLT.title suggested retail prices of car models. Set the title for the plot. Now, I'm going to rotate these a little bit. PLT.x sticks rotation 45 degrees and HA on the right hand side. So, this line rotates the x axis labels by 45 degrees to improve readability, and HA is equal to right. Parameter ensures that the labels are aligned to the right-hand side. The last two lines of codes, plt.type underscore layout, open close parentheses, adjust the layout to prevent clipping of labels and titles. And plt.show open close parentheses, display the plot. So if you run these codes, to get this nice bar chart for the suggested retail prices of car models. Let's jump into Jupyter Notebook, practice a little bit, and have fun with it. Let's take a look at our Jupyter Notebook and having fun how to graph a bar chart for these two variables, the model and suggested retail price. First, let us just import math.lib.pyplot as plt. In the next line, I'm going to use this line of code to make sure my graphs pop into Jupyter Notebook. So we're going to use percent sign. And then matplotlib in line. Now let us define the variables car models, so this is just explanation for you. The models is basically just a string. Let me just copy and paste. Make it a little bit faster instead of typing. And then the next variable suggested retail price. And let us call it prices, and this string has just the prices of the cars in our example. Very good. PLT figure. Now we're going to assign the figure size. And I'm going to set it to 10 inches by 6. Now let us work with the bar chart and the, our bar chart is going to have models and prices and the 
x-axis and the y-axis, and then we're going to do the labeling. So PLT, this is a bar chart. It has the models, comma, prices, and the color, let's work with the sky blue. Then I show you how to change these colors. Color is equal to sky blue. X label and the X axis on the horizontal line, we're going to have car models. So PLT dot X label. The label is car models. And then for your Y label on Y axis, PLT dot Y label. Let us label this as suggested retail price in dollars. Let's go to the next piece of line. And here, let us assign it. Title as well, plt.title, which is going to be just suggested retail prices of cars models. So if you just we wanted to take a look at your bar chart, plt.show, open close parentheses. If you just run these lines of code, you see you have the following bar chart. And on the horizontal line, you see they're um, just intersecting at some point, which is not beautiful. That's why uh, we're going to define some other lines of code. We're going to rotate them a little bit so they don't overlap. PLT dot X ticks. Now I'm going to do the rotation 45 degrees, for example. And we're going to use horizontal alignment to the right hand side. So HA is the parameter for horizontal alignment and it's set to the right, right? So here we go. Just gonna play around with this later to see what adjustments you can make. And then finally, ELT the type layout. Open close parentheses. So let's run this and Make sure everything is written correctly. PLT, here we go. Very good. So take a look at your bar chart. It graphed nicely on the horizontal line. You have all of these nice labels separated from each other and tilted a little bit to make it easier to read. 